This weekend, Washington Park on Chicago's South Side hosts one of the city's most popular and riveting events, the African Festival of the Arts, sidelined for two years because of the pandemic. It returns this year under the banner, Back to Culture, Back to Tradition. Dana Easter's creations are the result of painstaking and precise work. I dye it, I paint it, I print it, I silk screen it. So it is art, but it's just to wear. Wearable art, it's called and it's on the backs of people around the world. I've had people to say, I was in London and I saw your t-shirt or I saw your outfit, I knew it was a Dana. This weekend though, you're in one spot. I'm in one spot, the African Festival of the Arts. The African Festival of the Arts, returning this weekend after a two year COVID hiatus. Every conceivable expression of black culture Painting, sculpture, fashion, food, and music the light, the sound. will be on display in Washington Park. This festival is very important to me. The art here reflects the rich spirit and traditions that artist and Nigeria native Dio Laoye found in Chicago when he moved here 32 years ago. The African, African culture for the last 400 years is still embedded in some part of America and some people, especially here on the south and west side of Chicago. Oh. So finding Africa here uh, made me stay longer. The African Festival of the Arts, he says, has helped create a bigger market for the work of black artists. They represent all, all the gestures of our moods as black people in America. Including his own. Through this festival, I was able to build my clientele. Patrick Woodor founded the festival 33 years ago and has watched it blossom into a national attraction. This is like a family reunion every year. Family reunion every year. Every year. <laughs> and people come from as far as California, New York, Florida. And Woodor says it sparked similar festivals across the country. I'm so excited about it. But this weekend, the center of the black art world will be in Chicago's Washington Park. It's just an exciting weekend for family, for art, entertainment. It's like no other. Family Freddy, too. CBS2 is a proud sponsor of the African Festival of the Arts. It runs tomorrow through Monday, Labor Day in Washington Park. For a link to the festival's website, go to CBSChicago.com.